Nostalgia marketing can allow us to quickly and deeply connect with an audience. It often generates positive emotions and positive moods, which makes the audience more receptive to your message and more likely to remember your message. They'll talk about it and they'll share it with others and they'll seek out more information related to the nostalgia and your brand. Nostalgia is a really important concept for connecting psychologically. And the notion of using nostalgia in marketing can be really powerful for connecting with customers. And there's a lot of very interesting positive psychological outcomes of the experience of nostalgia. So first, I would just want to acknowledge the uniqueness of nostalgia as an emotion. And just personally, if you think about it, think about the notion that in your mind, you've got decades of experience in the world, and there are certain experiences that you haven't thought of for maybe 10 years, five years. There's a lot of really rich associations that you have in your brain that you don't remember. And if you can create those memories in a group of people by allowing them to recall things from their past, then you open up an entire rich sort of infrastructure of processes in their brain that tie in the sensory experience and the psychological memories of, you know, of what they were doing around that time period. So basically, the notion of nostalgia allows you to tap into that in a pretty straightforward way. And I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that yourself, where maybe you look at some old photo and you get reminded of a lot of contextual things that were related to when that photo was taken. It's like memories about the people in the photo and the people in your life and the place where you lived and details of the city where you lived. You can take your mind to all the locations that you experienced in that place, the restaurants that you went to, and so on. You could go one by one and try to reconstruct your experience of that town or that city, and it's very powerful. And one example that really like, helps us appreciate that is Stranger Things, the Netflix show. So Stranger Things focuses on the 1990s, and there's all these things that bring back the time of the 90s when you watch it, like the Coke cans, the tape recorders, the way they dress, the way they even just go around the neighborhood on their bikes and they park their bikes out on people's front lawns, right? And, and, we, and we all know how powerful it was that Stranger Things brought back all that 90s nostalgia for us. And now to think about nostalgia marketing. Of course, we know that context is very important in marketing. And one of the outcomes of nostalgia is that it generates positive feelings. So people feel good. And another thing that we know about when people feel good is that they recall things better and they're more aware of information. So studies have shown that people's memory for ads increases when they're in a positive mood compared to when they're in a negative mood, for example. And the idea behind this is that if you're in a positive mood, then your environment is sort of a good environment, and that means it's good to be receptive to it. But if you're in a negative mood, then subtly it's consistent with the notion that there could be threats in your environment, and so you would want to close yourself off more from these potential threats and be less sensitive to that information. But in general, inducing a positive mood using nostalgia in your marketing can be powerful in terms of getting people to recall what that marketing message is. And the secondary effect of that is that it helps you psychologically connect with the customer. It leverages all of the personal experiences and memories that we have and allows you to connect with those. And that's super powerful. And we know how important it is to quickly, personally relate to an audience. I mean, that's basically what marketing is. It's conveying a powerful, meaningful message to an audience in a short amount of time. So an example of a brand that use nostalgia marketing would be Walmart Grocery Pickup. In this commercial, which I'll link to below, they had a bunch of vehicles come in to pick up groceries from old TV series and films. So they had the DeLorean from Back to the Future, the Jeep from Jurassic Park, the vehicle from Ghostbusters, the van from Scooby-Doo, all these things that bring back old memories. So brands can use these icons and things from the past to bring back old memories in the audience for nostalgia marketing. They can also think about their own previous commercials. How can you use your own classic commercials and bring those back for nostalgia? 
How can you bring back your icons from the past? Putting out a product that maybe you had released before, coming back out with that product. We saw this with the Dunkaroos. They're re-releasing that product. The other thing is old jingles. If you've previously used jingles that were successful, you could bring those back. And so thinking of like color schemes, designs, and fonts that bring a connection to the past, that can also be helpful because we do apply this positive sort of rose-tinted outlook to our past. And finally, there's two last things I want to say about considerations for nostalgia marketing. And that's thinking about the audience, because certain people will be more receptive to nostalgia than others. And clearly you want to emphasize this on the people who will be most receptive. So what's the context that you would want to place these nostalgia advertisements in? Well, the first is individuals who are experiencing uncertainty or difficult times. So when you have difficult times, studies have actually shown that nostalgia can be a buffer against existential threats. And so, for example, if individuals are dealing with existential threats and fear of mortality and these really big questions that come up with major life changes, studies have shown that nostalgia actually buffers against that. So it actually has a really strong positive psychological impact on people who are dealing with very difficult existential questions or very difficult existential threats. So people who have that uncertainty and who may be aware of their mortality, they actually thrive for this information. They'll go out looking for it and it'll be very impactful. So that's a really important group to consider. And in general, I would argue that nostalgia will be impactful for any individuals dealing with uncertainty. Now, a lot of times we're dealing with uncertainty during changes in our life. And the term in marketing for changes in our life is an entry point. So whenever there's an entry point, which is like new job, new career, new crisis, new baby, getting married, any major life changes is an entry point in marketing. And usually it's accompanied by some uncertainty. Nostalgia helps to buffer against the psychological impacts of uncertainty. So it's really important to consider nostalgia marketing to that audience. The final thing I want to say is one of the impacts of nostalgia is that it is pro-social. So generally when people experience nostalgia, it makes them want to be more social. It makes them want to develop positive connections with others. But there's a segment of the population, about 20% of people, who have a particular attachment style called the avoidant attachment style. These people are generally predisposed to avoiding close intimate relationships with others. And it turns out that nostalgia does not have those pro-social benefits among this group. So if you're going to use nostalgia marketing, you want to keep in mind that it's most likely not going to be effective for pro-social moods among the 20% of the population that has insecure attachment. So in this video, I talked about nostalgia as a distinct emotion. Nostalgia marketing can allow us to quickly and deeply connect with an audience. It often generates positive emotions and positive moods, which makes the audience more receptive to your message and more likely to remember your message. It's particularly effective among individuals who are going through major life changes and uncertainties. In fact, those individuals thrive for nostalgia. They will be driven to it. So if you use nostalgia marketing on individuals going through those changes, not only will it have positive psychological impacts, but they'll talk about it and they'll share it with others and they'll seek out more information related to the nostalgia and your brand. So thanks for checking out this video. Intermark Group is a full service ad agency that embeds applied psychology and behavioral science in their creative outputs to maximize psychological connections. Let us know in the comments below what you think about nostalgia marketing. Hit the like if you like this and be sure to hit the share and the bell button to stay tuned with our posts. Thanks for checking out this video.